Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all doing fine. My name is Deborah. Merry Christmas to you all. Y'all know I've got something love for you all. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas time with your family and friends. I know I did, but yeah, okay. I am gonna give you my episode five review of the Prime Minister and I, after which I'll upload my episode 6 review because I'm beginning to like giving recaps and beginning to love them actually. So I'm gonna, because I don't want it to be too long, I'm gonna separate them. So yeah, let's do this episode 5 review. Let's go. Alright, so what basically happened in episode 5 is you we saw the continuation of last week whereby you was taken aback by the keys and he got all defensive about the keys and called it lip smacking, which was pretty hilarious because y'all know in K dramas they do a lot of lip smacking, they don't do kissing. So that was pretty hilarious the way he called it. No, that that's lip smacking. You don't call that a keys, and I'm like, please do tell them that do tell them they need that that ain't kissing. But anyway, whatever. Um, yeah. So um, Vicky commands to set that so that was pretty hilarious hi Vicky commences and next we see um Heiju with Ryujin he that's Yu's brother-in-law and he was still blaming he was talking about how he still blames like Yu for his sister's death and Heiju was asking like what do we need to do to like and to this bitterness between both of you and he said oh well just come to me and everything will be okay I'm like you keep dreaming that ain't happening anytime soon but yeah that was pretty hilarious and then next we see that Jong had gotten her gift from Scandal and it was just pictures of Scandals that she had taken pictures of probably or they have and it was just hilarious to see Kang Ho Dong with Ryu Jin's wife Madam Na and it was hilarious so that one was just funny I love that joke so yeah so so she tucked it into her suitcase and she also hid like her contract in there together with everything and before that he you had already told her like she should make sure she tears up the contract but being the dad young that she is she didn't do that she just dropped it in there feeling that that's the safest place to keep it and then next that night we see how you came into the room to grab something and she thought he was a spy or a thief and she attacked him with a book by hitting the book on his head and he kind of like put her down on the bed and told her no it's me i just came to get my sleeping pills okay and that was pretty good that it was just sleeping pills and not cancer pills or something like that because everyone should just be dying in crazy dramas okay that's an exaggeration but y'all know what i'm talking about okay and so he dismisses her question and then he reminds her that he has she has to like leave the room before dawn because he he has to like get ready for work etc etc and then um that jong met with the housekeeper and she saw this room and she asked the housekeeper about the room and the housekeeper stated how there's certain areas in the house that no one must enter and it was just so obvious when that happened that that had to be his dead wife's room because where else could it be he can't be a ritualist y'all feel me Except he'd be killing people in the house or something. He's a murderer, but he ain't. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Next, we see during breakfast, Nara played a trick on Yuna by stepping on her dress because she was wearing a handbook. And it was pretty long, but it was pretty cute. I like how she had it, added her own style to the handbook. And so she, she stepped on her handbook and she fell on the prime minister. And that was so cute. But moving on from that, next we see how they got a gift for their wedding from Ryujin and Heiju was suspecting that it had like a listening bog attached to it and so she broke it and unluckily for Inho when she broke it his hand was injured but luckily for him Dajong noticed that his hand was injured and so she treated him and when she treated him it was just the cutest thing ever and they just they were just being friendly and cute etc with each other and so next we see that um, Heiju was announcing how there was going to be this public event and they're going to be like foreigners etc and so on the event day Dajong met the foreign guest and she was speaking fluent Spanish and she knew who everyone was and I'm like what you don't know Spanish girl be dope I'm like wait 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 okay maybe Yun Shiyun taught her and that was just so hilarious because next thing we see Yun Shiyun was actually talking through something to her and I'm like ha 
<laughs> I knew that. But yeah, that was really funny though. Next, we see um, the Prime Minister talking with a foreign guest and they were kind of bringing down and talking down on Korea by stating how Korea is an easy trading market in the eyes of the world. And I'm like, y'all did not just say that. And the Prime Minister was mad and he kind of like told them, accused them of coming to do it and run like taking and then just running without giving back or for what they've gotten and he was kind of referring to the french and they got angry and they said dude we are not like the french we are gonna keep what we said we're gonna keep and do what we said we're gonna do okay dude so that was really cool but i loved him in that like he was so awesome and it was so funny because he he told his interpreter to say it and his interpreter didn't want to say it and he told um yishi to say it and yishi was like oh okay and he did it it was just so totally boss but moving on from that next we see man say man say comes to see madame na and he's like oh auntie i came to see you hello and i'm like oh my goodness child what are you gonna do because prior to that we saw him playing and making frogs and with the pictures and that just just kept the living daylight like, out of me because i'm like oh my goodness is he gonna give her the contract oh my goodness child what are you gonna do so that was pretty creepy and then next we see Heiju and that's Heiju and the uh, prime minister's in law, and she he wanted to know like why she broke into his phone and how she knew his password and he told her how dude even though my passcode is a birthday it doesn't mean i have no feelings for you i had no more feelings for you and i'm like dude we all know you have feelings for her y'all stop pretending but that was pretty but that was pretty hilarious though next we see in ho and that jong and she was just talking about how the prime minister was so cool and next the prime minister comes to meet her after in ho after in her leaves and she kind of falls down on him by mistake and oh, she tries she falls down on the chair and he can't hold her so that was pretty cute though and then next we see that um eugene was also given something from mansi and that was just scary i'm like oh my goodness they did not just give the contract to him right and so um that young went to see mansi and she saw like the contract was missing because he made frogs with her pictures and so he was looking for like she was looking for them and wondering where it was etc etc and then next we see how um that jong went to no 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 that jong was lingering outside the study to see if like when worry was gonna come and then or when she was just lingering outside the study and then Wuri, the Prime Minister's son, comes home and when she sees him, she's like, oh dude, why are you just coming home at this time? And the Prime Minister came home and he, oh, came and he saw her and she had already hidden Wuri prior to him coming because she knew that he was going to get in trouble if the dad sees him coming home late at that time. And that just reminded me of Sound of Music. I'm like, oh my goodness, Sound of Music is so cool. When she, Maria hid the first child because she went out to see her girlfriend, even though I'm pretty sure this time ain't no girlfriend. But yeah, Wuri was hidden and that was just so cute though. And so she went to meet the Prime Minister and when she went to meet the Prime Minister, she kind of just told him, anything just to get out of the whole worry situation and he finally ran to his room and then next we see how worry goes into the room that they told that young not to enter and he shout he states his mom's name by saying like uh, oh and i'm like oh my goodness dude is breaking down he misses his mom and the dad is just not paying attention to him and next we see in hole with his brother and that's how we knew that okay now we know why he's after him because in hope was with his brother and he's like oh yes i'm beside that person now and just wait and see what i'm gonna do so i'm like oh my goodness in hope is gonna be so evil so yeah i think maybe um his brother got into the accident during the whole wife thing and so he blames the prime minister and he's here to destroy the prime minister and then next we see how Da Jong went to the house of what's his name of um of the brother in law and when she went to his house she went to like get the frog bag and he found he found out that the 
brother-in-law came in and he saw her and he saw her there and he's like what are you doing in my house get out of my house you don't do this and so anyway when she left he saw the picture of what she was holding and he saw that it was his wife with Kanko Dong and he kind of like talked down on his wife like how can you do this why are you giving me a picture of your past you know I don't want to be involved with your past I don't like your past I don't do your past so that was pretty sad and funny or whatever but yeah and so when that junk was out um, the prime minister heard about her going there from his housekeeper and so he went to the room and he saw the contracts made as a frog underneath one of the cupboards and so he just knew what was going on and he talked when she came back he like made a force out of it and he shouted on her and told her like how can you go to my brother in law's house how can you go there how can you do that etc etc and so she was so sad and she went out and she was crying and Inho saw her and Inho like kind of held her and he was petting her and Inho noticed that Prime Minister was watching and so Inho like held her more etc and some people were about to come but the Prime Minister was so cute in that he left them and he drove the people away and then the Prime Minister decided that night that he was gonna start sleeping in his room so yeah this week was pretty interesting I loved when um that John was speaking Spanish. That's one of my favorite scenes. My next favorite scene was when mm. saw the whole Kangaroo Dog picture. That was so hilarious, though. My third favorite scene was when that John was taking care of Inho's hand. That was so cute. My next favorite scene was when um, the Prime Minister saw what was going on between Inho and her when she was hugging him. But he didn't stop them. He knew that she needed that comfort and he tried to help them by making the security men go away and I felt so sad for him but yeah now my conspiracy theories that was proven was that you know kind of has a bad side to him but it's gonna be pretty interesting to see where that goes whether in who keeps on being bad or he becomes good and what happens along that line and I'm Gonna, it's gonna be pretty interesting too to see if the brother-in-law turns good or he keeps on being evil like is he gonna turn good because of Heiju and is Heiju gonna turn evil and go against the prime minister because of Regin because right now Regin is already kind of blackmailing her because she he knows that she saw his phone and etc etc so that's pretty interesting I'd like to see where they go with that but yeah this week was pretty nice this week was cute I loved like the little little cute moments that we saw the father child moments that we saw or oh, the moments with um Da Jong and you and how he was he felt bad because of how he talked to her and he came outside to tell her oh i'm sorry but he saw her with someone else so yeah i really really liked that part but yeah the cliffhanger is something that i'm looking forward to see where they're gonna go with like oh my goodness he's gonna start sleeping in the room so i guess they're gonna get closer now because when they stay together in one room they have to become closer so yeah so in whole is still kind of mystery and i would like to see like i said if he gets more evil or he is saved by that jong but they are so cute together though but yeah that's what i thought of this week this week it was pretty interesting i thought it was pretty interesting to see how his child is suffering that's worry and i'd like to know more of like what's going on with worry what's he into like what's what's the whole deal with worry we know it has to do with his mother but we get to know more y'all feel me but yeah, I love this week. What did you think about this week's episode? Tell me what you thought about this week in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a like if you love the Prime Minister night this week. From me to y'all, you know I've got some love for y'all. Y'all know that. And watch out for my review of mine who came from the stars. From me to y'all. Peace. Come on, I guess I'm just a misfit, huh? Yeah.